brother. 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 You stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower Dungeon can break even the strongest will. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet! I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there then get out. See ya.
Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... You? You're an Argonian? Where did you learn to cook like that? Surely not in Black Marsh. Why, even the... Actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique? Well then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? My choice then? Oh, very well, I think we should add some chorus eggs for additional flavor. All right, what next then? Okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. All right, what next then? My choice? Hmm. All right then, tomatoes. Simple yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you.
Bell's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. Cold mead, hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Yet that recent business with the young officer, Mara, was it? How dreadful. The son of your commander plotting your assassination. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. The truth is, we are in no danger. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It. I think something's wrong. I... Ah! By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor! That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary's being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son! All of you! And now you'll pay the price! Kill him, and make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never should have- <laughs> By the order of the Yarl. Stop right there. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course.
No fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real trouble.
before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <clears throat> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <clears throat> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <clears throat> roasted alive. Come on! Only salvation. Come, embrace me. devil I don't see you helping I'm not exactly built for manual labor now come on you've almost got it one more pull yeah. there can you get it open I think so just hold on a moment you must speak with Astrid, here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. I don't know, Babette. Looks like he may have suffered a head wound. Let's not let him out of our sight. Sorry, the Penitus Oculatus. M Marrow, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Marrow has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before... 
You. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> Sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. You have no choice. must complete your contract. You must kill me. Please. I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Astrid. By the sands, huh? I still can't wrap my head around it. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier. At the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... Hmph. <laughs> All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking. The Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen. When you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? 
Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. You just worry about fulfilling the contract. I'll take care of things on this end. Got something to say? Yeah. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere? What is it? Like I said I didn't wish to the spirit be disturbed. By the gods! You, you're alive! But I had heard your sanctuary. Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead. The true Emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He... You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Ah, <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Surely you're joking. This is the true Emperor, not some half-septim look-alike. He'll be surrounded by elite bodyguards, I'm sure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Still... Everyone assumes the Dark Brotherhood has been completely destroyed. They may be a bit more lax than usual. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again.
looking to hire a boat. Nothing for you in the warehouse, so why don't you take a walk? This is the East Empire Company. Unfortunately, either way, it's off limits to you.
must be my imagination. an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised. As you command. What do you need? Okay, got it. Anything else? Back already? As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life.
And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the f- Oh. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. You and I have a date with destiny, it would seem. But so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? You will hear me out then? Good. You will kill me. And I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So I ask of you a favor, an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you have been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Well, perhaps you'll at least consider it, hmm? Now, on to the business sit hand.
Watch the skies, traveler. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to me. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Aha! You're back. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. Ha-ha! This is glorious! My friend, you may not realize like it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Well, I'll be damned. We heard you were dead.
Helmet Traveler. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. What is this madness? This is an... Oh, this Skyrim's... Stop. What was that? I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow Nazir's lead. Well, what word of the Emperor? Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stay true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all, and for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask, killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Remarkable! Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. on the rise again, listener. I can feel it. It is done. Emperor Titus Mede II lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words.
Another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the scheming servant at the keep in Markarth. Accept his gold, then eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in black.